Welcome back YouTube, I'm Debt Free Joel. On today's personal finance tip, we're going to talk about ways you can combat inflation using a high yield savings account. If you like these type of videos and our channels, feel free to click the like and subscribe button and let's get to it. You hear that rain? Sheesh. Let's face it. In this inflationary environment, you're looking around right now and you're seeing a ton of things cost a lot of money and you're wondering where the hell you can park your money to earn some level of interest or some level of return. Now, if you're on social media, you hear a lot of people put in saying put their money in the market in terms of the stock market and I don't necessarily disagree with that, but I do think that you can use also a high yield savings account. A high yield savings account is basically a savings account. It's exactly what the name implies. And the high yield part, it means that you're going to have a higher interest rate or HSY, whatever it's going to be called. Now, why is this important? High yield savings account earn you a higher interest than what your traditional brick and mortar bank is going to offer you. Let me give you an example. If you have a bank account at Bank of America, it is laughable. And I mean, absolutely laughable the interest that they give you on your savings account. What is it, 0.03%? Like it's, it's, it's basically no money at all. A high yield savings account, for example, the one that I always recommend to people, shameless plug, is Ally. Their savings account, I believe, based on the notifi notification I got this morning, uh, is 1.15%. Now, I know what you're thinking, 1% on your savings account isn't exactly the biggest. Yeah, but if you're parking your money in a checking account with no uh, interest being earned or you're putting your money in a savings account at one of these brick and mortar banks that earn you 0.03 percent um, yeah I like my chances more a high yield savings account is perfect for an emergency fund if you're saving up for a house right now it's the perfect place to park your deposit so you can earn some income on that money it's basically the one-stop fit all for me personally for any type of savings account you want to have if you're saving up for a car a wedding whatever it is Put your money in a high yield savings account so you can earn some money on it. Um, I recommend this to a ton of people and it's a good way to fight inflation as much as you can. Now, are you earning inflation is at what, almost 10% and you're earning 1%? I get it, it's not the same, but at least you're doing something to try to combat it. Um, so specifically, I would say definitely put that in your emergency fund, put your emergency fund in a high yield savings account. Now, what are the cons? Let's be honest, right? What are the cons with it? Well. Number one is some, some of them actually have a minimum deposit you have to have. I believe as of the recording of this video in 2022, Ally doesn't have that. So maybe that's one con you don't got to worry about. But some high yield savings accounts, maybe the ones that are, offer a higher rate, you do have a minimum uh, savings account that you have to have, right? A minimum amount, I should say. The second is that um, you also have the ability or, or the restriction, I should say, for a certain amount of withdrawals every single month. So for Ally, I believe they allow you only six withdrawals from um, their, their savings account because normally they're online. So you'd have to transfer it digitally from your, you know, your savings account to your checking account. But I'm talking to adults here. If you're saving for something, whether it's your emergency fund, your house, your car, your wedding, you really shouldn't be worried about how many withdrawals you're going to be taking out, right? That's the whole point is to put the money in there and leave it in there. Um, so those are the two cons, right? Number one, um, at the end of the day, you want to make sure that you have some level of understanding as it pertains to how many withdrawals you need to take, right? Make sure you're, you're focused on that. But again, if you're saving money, please, please, please do not worry about the six withdrawals. Just put your money in the high yield savings account. And the second is that at the end of the day, there are minimums as it pertains to your high yield savings accounts. But like I said, as of the recording of this video for Ally, they don't have a, a minimum. So I think using a high yield savings account to combat inflation is one of the best ways to uh, get ahead of it, to stay up to speed with inflation, to allow your money to um, for things that you're saving for to earn interest. Um, and like I said, if you have your money parked in one of these brick and mortar um, banks, you know, Citibank, Bank of America, Chase, they're offering you nothing. Put your money, at least your savings account, in a high yield um, savings account and earn some more interest. I'm Debt Free Joel. If you like these type of videos, cool. Click the like and subscribe button. Feel free to follow me on Instagram at Debt Free Joel. It's the same name as I have on YouTube. We put a ton of information on there about finance as it pertains to saving, investing, and most importantly, charity. Until next time, move your money to a high yield savings account. 
Okay, if you've been watching my videos and you know I normally don't end like that, but keep your money up.